Buenos días, familia! Hello! We are here in the car. Son las 10, it's 10 o'clock. Today's a Spanglish episode. Oh. All Spanglish, babe. All day, every day. Vamonos! We don't know a lot of Spanish, but it's gonna be great. My name is Carlos Benavega, this is my wife. Alex Benavega. And we are Dominican and Spanish and... And white. Believe it or not, she's <laughs> Colombian. Guys, this is our vlog. We love you. Thanks so much for watching. We should do this. Let's start our day right now, right now, right now. All together. So we just witnessed a major failure. Twice. Twice. This poor old lady was in front of us and she just, she didn't see this guy's trailer. No, first she almost hit him and then he had to honk, and they all both slammed on brakes. Oh man, and then, he's pissed. Well, yeah, she, and then, and then she did it again, and then hit his trailer, and then when he walked up to deal with it, did you see her? He almost hit, hit the her. Gas and yeah, the she almost hit her. Him, she almost hit him. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Okay, we're at the first stop. Um, the waxing place is over there. Carlos is gonna go and get a bagel for breakfast. Will you get me something? Yeah, what do you want? Probably. What do you want? What do you want? What probably, do you want? What I would say a plain bagel with cream cheese. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay. Okay, we've gone our separate ways. He's back there, and since he brought his camera, he gets to uh, video while well, I video. I don't think I want to video getting waxed though. Mm -mm. There's Alexa walking and filming. And here I am walking to the Babel shop. Babel, the bagel shop filming. Um, I'm excited. I haven't been to a bagel shop in a while and I just love me some breakfast sandwich. That's my friend Edgar right there. Um, and we are gonna get, what did Alexa want again? Oh crap. Change of plans. I went to go get waxed and I'm ahead of my appointment time. Um, but when I asked, they weren't booked and they were fine. And then all of a sudden, they got super, super booked. So, not getting waxed today. I have a feeling that's happening tomorrow. You know, the longer and longer that we push it, the more and more I don't want to do it. Thank you very much. They look <laughs> We just got to the nail place. I feel really badly. Carlos has to edit, so he definitely shouldn't have come with me because it takes a minute to kind of get all the way over here. So we're stressing just a little bit, but we're not gonna let that affect our day. Um, I'm gonna go in right now and pick my colors. So I'll see you all in time. I'm in here editing right now. I've got my nice little cozy section. I got some nice air, got my laptop, got all my stuff over here, hard drives, headphones. I'm feeling good. Um, but I'm still a little stressed because I miss having my big computer. But I really wanted to come out uh, and just be here for her because she goes everywhere with me. And when I'm doing my like, you know, press or meetings or workout, she'll just sit in the car and wait for me. And I, I really felt like, you know, I really feel like I need to do a little bit more for her. So I'm gonna be here for her whenever she needs me just to wait because that's what husbands are supposed to do. If that makes any sense. I love you, babe. And if you are watching this vlog, which I hope you do, because I put so much time to editing them, I love you very much. Hope your uh, little nail session is Doing great. He's editing in there. Oh, he looks tired and annoyed. Let's see how this goes. What's up? How are you? I'm a little sick. I don't know why I'm so nauseous. Maybe it's just cars, it's not my driving. Yeah, maybe it's just everything. I don't know why. All right, well, let's go to the next place. Yeah.
Okay, so we did really good timing. We did excellent timing. We are now at the vitamin shop. Yeah. All the way back to our neck of the woods. Um, we're gonna run in there, and then we're gonna drop stuff off at home, get into yeah. gym gear. I might go to Chipotle really quick. <laughs> I just oh. love Chipotle. Chipotle's in my life. I love Chipotle. Chipotle's in my life. Are you getting a gift card for David? Yes. <laughs> yes. 100%. David, you're getting a Chipotle gift card. Or you got a Chipotle uh, gift card. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you need a card? Yeah, why not? Sorry, boss. No problem. So why don't you get a box of each? Yeah? Have you guys ever tried these? Why don't we get them in the end? Since they're so light and they take up no space. Why are you so smart? Only because you have heavy stuff that you have to You're get. so smart. Okay, so I have this type of protein that I love. It's called IsoPure. Well, basically all these. And the thing is, I know it's a little more expensive than the powder, but you put them in the fridge and they're so convenient and then you just grab them and go. The only problem is that they make your breasts think a little bit, but hey, it's the price you pay. Definitely not, not gonna get this flavor. I got that one last time. It's the uh, natural flavor of Grape Frost. Not worth it. I got four flavors. I'm happy. Another thing that I love to get uh, is this thing called Celsius. Right here. There you go. It's pretty awesome. It's my favorite. Um, they have like sparkling ones and non sparkling ones. I kind of like the sparkling ones, but then sometimes I don't like them. Hey, I'm adding to the pile. I'm just talking to the shelf. I'm gonna get some more Celsius. My shelf. Thank you so much. I will sign right here. Never in my life have I ever spent $60 for a Chipotle burrito. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we actually got David uh, a gift card for his birthday. Look, look, look how it comes. It's like a little briefcase. Yeah, dude, $50 at Chipotle, like. You just made it. There are like 10 people in line now. Score. Um, $50 at Chipotle. You can come here so many times. You can come here probably pack <laughs> That's amazing. I just had uh, a first. I just had a, uh, a fan come up to me. I, well, hold on. Of all experiences, I feel like this is the most memorable and meaningful <laughs> that, that you could ever see. Well, he told me that he was a big fan of Alexa and I, and most importantly, that I was his fitness inspiration. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because I know you. I and was it like, so much. I was like, you were like, oh. what's up? <laughs> I have no doubt that the angels came out of the heavens and just went, ah. That was a sign, man. That was a sign. I am, yo, his name is yeah. Sean, right? Yeah. Shout out to Sean. Bye bye to Chipotle. Thank you, dude. You just made my day. You just made my day. So, this lighting is terrible. That's better. Okay, um, we are on our way so, right now. You know what's interesting? It says cocktail attire, but I asked Lex, I was like, is it like LA cocktail cocktail attire? Because like LA cocktail attire is like what I'm wearing. It's like be cool. Or at least try to be cool. Versus like what most people think cocktail attire is, right? Look how no? fucking cute he is. He's so handsome. Ugh. Stay still, I'm so, zooming in, you look sexy. Th 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 this, this is my cocktail attire. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Love you. I think you look hot. We are in the car, headed to the Variety Latino event. Um, yeah, how are you feeling? Good. Yeah? I feel like we could go to sleep right now. <laughs> Dude, me three. Me, you, and Ocean need to go to bed ASAP. Um, but you know what? We're gonna have a fun time tonight. Sorry if it's a little bright. I have my computer in front of me. Uh, and then we're gonna head to, um, to, to David's little party. So, these events are cool. 
I mean, they're they're like super low key, um, and I'm kind of part of this one, so I guess it's a, a totally little bit cooler, right? You're very much a part of this. One. Anyways, we're on the way, but <laughs> traffic as usual in Los Angeles, guys. Don't move to LA, just 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 for the traffic. Like, don't move here because traffic is awful, and you will hate it, right? It's pretty bad. It's yeah. really bad. Yeah, you you're better off moving to like. Alaska. Oh, really? <laughs> Alaska? You just got here and Alexa's doing her final check. Except and, and then we're going way over there. Can we talk about how my allergies get so worked up in the car? Her allergies get worked up in the car. What's up? That's me. What's up? Hey, we matched today. Uh oh, and that's Sheva. That's my agent. AKA Alexa's old neighbor from back in the day. Hi. I'm good, how are you? I am good, Aiden. We're tired. We're just checking ourselves out in the mirror. Apparently, apparently everyone is really fancy. And this is my cocktail attire. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Chef is saying that I should wear, wear Converse with the suit. Listen, listen, I asked Lex, I said, is it is it LA cocktail attire? Or is it just like cocktail attire? It's like LA. I was like, I was like, whatever, whatever. I'm okay, not gonna lie, I'm feeling like a little underdressed and feeling very um, self-conscious about it, but I'm just playing it off like it's nothing. So let's go do this. We closed the carpet out and I wasn't even wearing a suit. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Typical Hispanics, fashionably late. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe everybody here, late. everybody here is Latino, you can't really say that. <laughs> Except for Sheva. But are you Latino? No. No. Nope, not at all. Cool. on TV, he's about to be a father, and he understands now that after creating his own family, he understands that now it's about his family as opposed to that important role. He is about to start the most important role in his life, and it's not about the role that he gets or doesn't get. He's about to become a father, and he also is working towards creating his own production company with his beautiful wife, Alexa, whom we also love, Carlos that was the 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 party. Um, honestly, I didn't know how 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 big of a deal it was, and I am so thankful. Like that was really cool. It was awesome. Yeah, I mean, got to be on stage with some people who are doing some amazing things. Actors, producers. I mean, everybody. Can we talk about Rita Moreno? Dude, her speech, her speech was hilarious. <laughs> And uh, so hard. I cannot, I mean, thank you. Variety Latino, thank you so much. Um, Jessica, Carla, you guys are the best. I love you. Probably not watching this, but hey. And now the the glamorous side of, of Los Hollywood. Angeles. Show them. Let's just, uh, you know, do our thing. <laughs> Hello. How you feeling? I have to pee so bad. Come here, let me get the door for you. I'm so tired, baby. You look cute, though. I love you. I about ate it. Oh, lights. Oh. oh, what a day. What a day. How are you? Tired. Why are you so tired? Because it was a long day. You, you look really pretty. Wanna go do a photo shoot downstairs? Yeah, but you look so cute. But what kind of photo shoot? Like a pregnancy photo shoot. Wait, right now? Uh, I know, stupid idea. Carlos, don't don't say those type of things, Carlos. What? Hi. I love you. What's going on? Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Talk to me. We talked to so many people today. I know. I'm so tired. I, I just wanna give a shout out to anybody, every, Everybody and anybody who was part of the event and setting it up, y'all did a great job, and, we, and I just we thank you guys so much uh, for all your hard work. It and awesome. um, I know that some of you guys uh, probably were just volunteering to work. So, some of you guys, it was your job, but thank all of you. you we thank awesome. all of you. I can't even speak today. We thank all of you. I think we're just ex exhausted. 
I'm and exhausted. What is no, like, this thing? How cute is the little smiley face on top, though? It's a powder puff. Look, a little smiley face on top. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> pregnant. I literally can't wait to breastfeed. <laughs> I believe him. What's up, guys? Uh, what up? Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I need to start out just right off the bat and apologize on behalf of the both of us for not being as consistent as we normally have been. Um, we had a pretty intense week. Uh, I had a really big audition yep. uh, on, on, on Friday, yesterday. Um, so I was like super, super, super focused on it. I'll let you know how it goes. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna bang out some uh, yeah, you some guys are gonna get today. some vlogs. You guys are gonna get a lot of so vlogs. So after this one, you, in in an hour or so, you should or two or three, you, you should get another one, and then a couple hours after that, you should get another one. A couple hours. After, my, Most is gonna go. My for goal it. is to literally get four or five <laughs> out today, uh, and then tomorrow, Monday, October seventeenth, we're gonna start fresh. And while you do all of those, I will be cooking for you and making sure you have enough energy and fuel to keep going. That's why I married her. But because of my cooking, that's part of it. Anyways, um, we just wanted to uh, preface this wow with that, so yes. you guys knew that. Um, sorry, sorry, so sorry. And, that, and then more coming, you know. Um, but anywho, shall we get to the wow today? We should get to go the for wow. it. Okay, let's dig right in. Um, I read this scripture and I really, really enjoyed it. It's James four seventeen, and I thought that we could have a discussion on this. It says, anyone who knows the good he ought to do and doesn't do it, sins. And I, <laughs> I love this scripture though because I feel like there are a lot of times where we know what we're supposed to be doing and what we should be doing, but we kind of avoid it because it either takes effort or sometimes, for instance, Carlos uh, ran into somebody the other day that he did not want to run into or have to talk to and if you had had maybe a little bit more patience with that person, yeah. the events to follow yeah. could have been a little bit better. You'll, <laughs> you'll find out what happens in, the vlog. In, in, in one of the vlogs that I post after this one. But, but basically, I feel like, like we, gotta take, we gotta take the time and make the effort in all areas, especially whether, whether you're getting called on your heart to talk to somebody, um, even if you don't know them, I feel like you should. You should just be like, hey, how, how's your day going? And it might sound, it might be kind of weird, but remember, who was telling us this yesterday? Sean. Yeah. Or Sean, he was like, sometimes I'm in a really good mood and I just talk to people. Yeah. And, and you, you just need to. You need to kind of go out there and make a little bit more of an effort. Totally. I mean, for me, the, the, the first thing that comes off the, 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 the first thing that comes to the top of my head is, like, are these vlogs. You know, we're, we're making such an impact because I see all these comments and I, I see people praying for each other and it's so incredible. And at, like each day that goes by that we don't put out a vlog that has a wow, believe me, it, it gets to me. I'm like, man, like we need to be doing our duty yeah. and, and, you know, sharing our love with the world, even if it takes a little bit more work. Yeah. So it's my goal to get as many out today and you know I'm, I'm i'm gonna do my best to keep it as daily as possible it's not that it's like straining on us it's more of just a time thing you know sometimes i i have to get up at 6 a.m and going to bed at three in the morning just is not gonna cut it yeah so it's a little um, it's a lot a lot to deal with so yeah i mean does that make sense sure no no it does make sense i mean for I me i feel like for you it's on your heart to do that yeah and, and for me i I see, I see what we're doing in people's lives, and I see the comments. And, and I see what they're doing in our lives because of the comments. One hundred percent. And I feel like it's our duty to continue that. Absolutely. Because we're 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 growing a really awesome community of world changers. Yep. That, you know, it's not about us. I agree. It's about all of us. It's about all of us. Yeah, it's not about us. It's about us. But but <laughs> if if we don't continue, I guess. Is, is it wrong to say like leading this group? Yeah, I agree. I totally agree like, because it has become a community and this is kind of where people do meet up and talk and pray together and we can ask questions and it feels safe in a way. It yeah. doesn't feel 
negative and it doesn't feel you can't ask a wrong question totally. and that's what i love about this so you guys have been super inspiring you've opened up our hearts and i hope that we've opened up your well, hearts and th that's that's how 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 i relate to this well I think that would if be that good. makes any sense I, I, think it does. I basically took it and i was like well i could actually relate to this so I think it how do you guys relate sense. to this well we want to hear about it so so comment below um let us know and uh, again we love you guys so much uh keep praying for each other Keep, keep, keep asking for, for prayer. I mean, don't be afraid to ask for prayer. We're here. Everybody is here. Well, not every, like not here, but there are a lot of people in this on, house on the YouTube, <laughs> YouTube world. Um, okay, well, I gotta get back to editing so I can get you guys some awesome vlogs. We love you. Any final words? No, I'm happy. I'm good. I'm a little sleepy, but I'm good. <laughs> well, you are carrying a child, which, by the way, you guys, we have like four to six weeks. It's kind of. I mean. You know, you know what? I I I, sh I should say four to eight, because he could come early or, or he could come late. later. So four to eight weeks. Yeah, we'll see. One to two months. Who knows? Yeah, <laughs> so we'll nuts. See. And oh, soon, crazy. soon we're gonna. Dude, his first words have to be. Taco. No. Oh. Taco. Because we watched a video the other day. I was thinking. Was like taco. Chop liver. Oh, <laughs> that was smart. Dude, I, I missed if I can liver. get his first words to be. Chop liver. <laughs> No, but you gotta. But he, I think what he'll get before the chopped liver is because like, like they always copy. They da mimic. Da yeah, they mimic the sound. Yeah. Chop liver. liver. Okay, we're gonna stop this. Can you tell we're really tired? I gotta get back to editing. I'm speak for yourself. I feel great. Chop liver. Ah, oh, babe. Again, it wasn't recording. I don't believe you. Ever. You never believe me. Yeah.